What's up, Corn Gang Fish Fam? Can't believe it's Monday again, y'all. I basically only exist on Mondays for some of you. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Fish tank review. So our first guy here, just a simple aquascape is not enough for this guy. Thought I'd share my cave scape. This guy made an entire cave system in their fish tank. The top of their fish tank looks like a 5 out of 5 low boy long dimension tank. Just the top section looks like this fish tank and some of the scapes I've done on it. But no, that wasn't enough. This, this is not where we stop. Bro had to put that on the very tippity top of the section. So this tank is actually not a low boy long tank. It is a pretty big cube. Give me that cube, boy! And for most of the tank, it's a underground, underwater cave system. I mean, honestly, I might have not even got through the top half. There might be CO2 pumping into the top half, growing all those beautiful plants. The woodscape is just amazing. Heavy cornerscape. The red hue of the wood contrasted with the green carpet. Detailing of the plants on the wood itself. And then boom, cave system. I think there's some holes. Just letting the light hit part of the cave. Blind cave tetras would be crazy. Any sort of corridoras, dwarf sucker mouth fish, that would fit the theme so well. I don't know if this tank is big enough for glass cats or blind cave tetras for that matter, but if it was, damn. Right now there's like an apple snail under there. I think it's still cycling or I'm not sure if they stuck it with anything. That would be shrimp heaven as well. You get a rare glimpse into the actual shrimp dimension. This is where the shrimp dimension resides. It's incredible. The possibilities are endless. I need to learn how to do this ASAP and I need to do it. I just make this. There's so many things on my to-do list now, inspired by all these beautiful, magnificent tanks. This guy is absolutely crazy and on another level. Who looks at that scape and thinks, oh, it's not over. Job's not done. Still to be happy about. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. This guy brought Kobe's Mamba mentality into his aquascaping game. And the cave looks so much like a cave. It's not just this underground empty space. It has these cave looking rocks. It's got the texture right. Okay, <laughs> guys, we're currently stuck 25 miles deep in the Anahakanuki cave. Um, a bat just bit my ass cheek. How in the world did you do that? The cave even got its own substrate. I couldn't be me, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking about making a corner tank with some plans, and this dude is over here using 110% of their brain, making a bloody active cave system with an ecosystem on top. I can't play this game. There's always an Asian kid better than you at what you're doing. Hey, quick pause, guys. Thanks to our sponsors, you guys, for hitting the like button and supporting on Patreon so I can eat more yummy algae wafers and shrimp nuggets. You get perks in return for becoming a patron, like joining the FFT Discord server. Link in description. See ya. Ihihihihu. This tank is sent in by Dutt. Bro has a centerpiece scape that is a snail. Hitting that golden ratio. I don't know if there's anything else in this tank except for snails. There might be some shrimp. Oh, perhaps some dwarf rasboras of some sort. Sagittaria looking plants are going wild. They're sending out runners. Thick nutrient rich substrate down below. 4.48 out of 5. Keep it up. Bought three guppies. Got two. What is this fellow? <laughs> I mean, okay, I can see how some people might mistake this as a guppy, I guess. A female guppy. That, that's like the imposter. <laughs> that's a perfect imposter. Even got that guilty look. Like, I'm a guppy. Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> this indeed is a sort of killifish. It might be a golden wonder killy. As their name suggests, even though that's not why they're named killifish, the word kill is in their name and they are hunters. They will kill smaller fish. They'll kill fish that are actually uh, not that much smaller than they are. They'll at least try to harm them and try to eat them in one big gulp. You see that big ass mouth, bro? What'd that mouth do? It looks like a guppy with a big mouth. <laughs> and that big mouth was created so that it could try to fit anything it wants to. It could try to eat like an endler, like an adult endler. I don't know about an adult female guppy. Maybe some adult males. Definitely all your fries are dead. I think they cost more than a guppy, so in that sense, you got your money's worth, I guess, but it's not the fish you were looking for. This is very different. These are apex predators, bro. Good luck. Quicksilver667 sent in their five gallon fluval spec. Very clean. It's still cycling and it's got a rogue snail. I don't know what it is about fluval spec and rogue snail snails, but I got quite the few rogue snail action in my fluval spec. At first I saw one, and then I saw like three adults, and then they started doing it day and night. Quicks over here though, making use of the limited real estate that a five gallon fluval spec offers to a very nice degree. He's got a bonsai tree in there, topped up with some sort of moss I believe, but it's still quite tasteful. It's not tacky. It doesn't overpower literally everything in the scape. I think the placement of the rocks, the kinds of rocks, and the detailing of the plants kind of lean 
in towards this like ornamental feel. It almost seems like someone's front yard garden. You know, one of those older folks that have nothing else to do because they're retired so they can tend to their garden and make it look beautiful. 4.45 out of 5, keep it up. Hey, where is my tetra? Oh, yeah, one of the telltale signs something is wrong. You haven't fed the tank, but all your Amano shrimp are curled up into a ball. <sighs> the funny part, the ironic part of this, there's blackbeard algae all over that leaf and these Amano shrimp aren't about to do nothing about it because they got protein today. They eating good. Thanksgiving came early. Very sorry about the uh, tetra that died. Some people are like, why are Amano shrimp eating meat? I thought they loved eating algae. Shrimp will eat anything that is the most bioavailable at that moment. Amano shrimp are not like ghost shrimp. They won't actually actively try to kill something or try to snag something and eat it. But you better bet that if something dies, that means extra protein. Like they won't even hurt a snail that's still alive. But the moment it dies, you know what I mean? It's game on. They're so nice until you die. It's a weird animal. The hotel I'm at keeps betta fish on the reception desk. Godzilla for scale. Oh, these are not just keeping betta fish. These are keeping betta fish ecospheres. Enclosed ecospheres. Bro, that is actually enclosed. That thing is sealed. I think they have the rubber membrane over it. So it's sealed airtight. There's not a plant in there. The fish is actually suffocating. This is the first time I've seen something like this done just unironically. The lapse in the judgment of this reception guy oh, taking two of them out at the same time to this reception guy these fish must only live for like two days that is their lifespan this guy does not have it figured out even if you have a labyrinth organ <laughs> and you can breathe air if there's no air to breathe what are you supposed to do these are two of the unluckiest betta fish known to mankind they go from a cup that at least has air in it into an actual airtight enclosed ecosphere. I don't even do that for shrimp nowadays. Holy crap, bro. Sapphic Sentinel send in their 18 gallon tank with two yo-yo loaches and six Corydoras. First impression is that you did some nice planting, some pretty good hardscape. Hopefully it grows out for you. Everything gets carpeted. The java fern gets a little bushier. It's an 18 gallon bullfriend. I'm just a little worried for the two yo-yo loaches. It's not a super big deal, but they do get pretty big. They get like maximum six inches. That's, that's pretty big in my books. Definitely not average. Most people say yo-yo loaches should go in a 40 gallon minimum. I agree with that, but there has been way worse situations. But if you see this video, try to think about what to do when they get a little bigger. Before four out of five for now, keep it up. My Corydora's army. Okay, you aren't kidding. <laughs> Whoa. It's not just Corydoras in here, even though, although there, there's a whole bunch of Corydoras. There's also some Gararuffa. Whiptail catfish. Many species of Corys. This is Corydoras heaven. I don't see the rest of the tank, but they all look very healthy. Hopefully it's a big enough tank so that it's not overcrowded. It's a lot of bio load, you know? But the background, the bouquet, it does give me like really nice tank vibes. It's planted for one. And again, everyone looks very healthy. The galaxy rasboras, they look super healthy. What a five out of five Cory Gang paradise. If I was reincarnated as a Cory Gang, I would be wanna in this Cory Gang. Am I having a stroke? My favorite new addition to the tank. That's the only thing your Cory gang is missing. Or maybe it was in there and I'm, I missed it. But this is a reticulated hillstream loach or one of the variants. I love when they're sucking on the glass up close like this. You can see their whole underbelly. You can see what they're doing with their little mouths. These guys are known as the freshwater stingray. If you've never had one, please go get one. They're very hardy. They're very shy at first. You hardly see them. But once they know you mean them no harm and movement usually means some food. They'll come right out. They'll warm up to you. Usually you want to get two or three at least. Beautiful fish. Engineering wonder. Baby noodles. Oh, again, if you add this to the Cory paradise. I didn't see any Cooley loaches, but that would be crazy, bro. Cooley loaches are probably my favorite. Even more than Cory Doris? Maybe, you know. They're so much hardier as well. They don't care about anything, which means it's great for beginners and it's very encouraging for beginners to keep. On top of that, they're just filled with personality. They are curious, they look funny, they do funny things like this. And they're noodles, they're baby noodlies that don't need a huge tank, unlike, unlike I don't know, dojo loaches, eels, weather loaches. We have been blessed in this hobby by the Cooley Loach. Shout out to my husband who knows exactly nothing about aquarium, but there's a random power outage in my area and I'm at work. He texted me to tell me about the outage and says he already put all my aquariums on a backup generator before I had the chance to panic. I guess I'll keep them. Wow, my friend, that is husband of the year. A genius of our time. Congratulations, what a nice catch. No pun intended. 
I'm straight and male, but can I have him? I'm a lesbian, I want him. Mr. Fluffbutt sent in their 16 gallon tank that is still cycling. They're thinking about wild bettas and maybe some Amano shrimp. And this, oh boy, this is crazy. I love this skate. I'm a huge sucker for roots coming down because that's kind of often what you see in the wild, the little spirals. I don't know where you found this piece, but dang, you scored. You probably saw this piece and was like, I gotta get it, even though it's $65. Really beautiful red Mopani wood. Nice Cryptocore and Parva. That is like the perfect plant for that. Wine root system. Anubis Barteri. This is gonna be heaven for your wild betta fish. I hope you know that. And a 16 gallon. That's an amazing size. For betta fish and some on mono shrimp. Are you kidding me? 4.89 out of 5. Keep it up. Cory Hammock. You know, it seems so obvious that this would be an amazing thing to have, but I never knew about it until I saw it. Just a bunch of Cory hanging out in their favorite spot. Favorite vacation hammock. Something so relaxing about that. And very cute. It could be anywhere in this fish tank, but they choose to be on the hammock. How do they know? Update. Insane roommate destroy my tank. So this was featured on an F TR a few episodes ago and basically this person has a horrible roommate that chucked something at her and she ducked and the thing broke her fish tank. It's crazy. She managed to save a lot of the fish and here's an update. Many people commented and I took your advice. I got the hell out of there. That is amazing. Good job. It took me a month to get my fish back. Fed them but the parameters were trash. I can't keep them in my current location due to power costs so I rehomed them all yesterday and only kept the shrimp. Sorry that you eventually lost your fish but you're a good enough person to rehome them and make sure they're living their best lives. I'd like to thank everyone. I was being a massive idiot by not leaving. You guys probably saved my life. I mean, it's super hard, right? If you're renting with a roommate, you're probably not in any position to like get up and go whenever you want. So it's really good that you even got out of there in the first place. A lot of people probably wouldn't push themselves enough. The right design. Honey, wake up. A new floor plan just dropped. Man, I would buy this place in a heartbeat. With what money? I don't know. <laughs> I love how everything just shoved into one little strip of the wall. That's a dream come true right there. About to do a deep clean and water change for the reef tank, actually. Oh yeah, I heard Palm Olive is one of the best uh, reef cleaners. I heard corals love him. Frog spawn love eating it. Ultra strength? Oh, this guy's rich. How do you you afford feeding your anemone palm olive ultra strength all the time? Tell me your secret. My friend's betta tank. I'm at a loss here. I've been staring at this for like two minutes now. I can't locate the betta fish. Maybe I'm blind. Oh, is, is it black? Is it there? And it's just got way too much food. You dumped a quarter of your food reserves. There's so much food is making the surface of your water murky, but I mean, it's a beautiful scape. The palm trees, very nice touch. The half water volume, even though there's a lid and the fish cannot possibly jump out. Uh, that's genius. That's big brain, you know? Never let them know your next move is what I always say. Five out of five. What else could it be? Unbelievable discounts on fashion, home, and more. It's unbelievable, all right? Fishbowl, vase, creative bowl. I have to agree. That is creative. Even though I've been a fish keeper for more than a decade now, I wouldn't even have thought of that. What kind of pro fish keeper that lives and breathes freshwater fish keeping comes up with this? Truly incredible, guys. Timu, you're touching my heart. You're giving me myocarditis. <laughs> Chris, don't joke about myocarditis. No, pretty sure I can joke about it. I had it. It f***ing sucks. Joking about it is how I cope. Quick animal fact number four. Most banjo catfish cannot actually play the banjo. This is because they cannot afford one. <laughs> Stupid ass jokes, but it got me. What can I say? You know, it's just like Fergie says, if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home, banjo catfish, and change your name. Do y'all think this could hold my 30,000 gallon? <laughs> This guy wins. This guy wins all of it. The pizza table. I don't know. I feel like there will be some bowing. And if it leaks, the water damage might, you know, make it collapse. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video. End of the video club. Thank you so much for tuning in, pushing the algorithm as always. Hope I made your Monday go just a little better and started your week off a little good. A little good. All right, it's time. Before you go, here is this week's Katwa. What is your favorite feature of your fish tank right now? For me, it's probably in this tank. It's the Dorvas Boras, actually. They don't die. It's been years and um, it's been several times tanks and they just live. They are thriving. I keep telling y'all, Dorphus Burras are so hardy. They are not an advanced fish. I would recommend it to every single beginner because it fits in beginner small tanks. Unlike Neon Tetras, it doesn't actually fit a five gallon. This is a 16 gallon. I still rather have something like a Dwarf Rasbora than a Neon Tetra. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your bed wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rod from Karis form. Me stupid retro road on, hold on. There's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.